Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the Principal Director of Diomi, Mr. Ron Joe. Uh, it's my honor to uh, introduce to you uh, my boss, our boss. Uh, Mr. Clarence uh, A. Johnson is currently uh, the Director of the Office of Diversity Management and Equal Opportunity in Washington, D.C., uh, in the Pentagon. Uh, it is an honor for me at this point in time to introduce to you my boss, uh, Mr. Clarence Johnson. Sure. I uh, uh, have been watching how this program has evolved over the last decade or so. And uh, I'm telling you that today, that what you're going through in this course is the finest product that this institute has ever put together. Uh, I'm so proud of Mr. Joe and the Diomi staff for what they do. Uh, you will get more of it between now and when you graduate, but. Please, I'd like you to give a round of applause to the Diomi staff for what they do. Uh, you know, your leadership in the military services um, must think what you do is important. To take you out of the, 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 the workforce for a number of weeks to come here and get trained in what you're getting trained to do, and then presumably to depart this fix and go take care of some pretty important work out there uh, in the field, they must think A, a lot of you, and B, a lot of what you do or will do. And let me tell you, what you will do um, is so important in our military force. I, I can't stress and you may not feel it, you may not even believe it. Uh, I hope you do when you leave here, you believe it, but I'm telling you what you do is so important. I was at staff meeting this morning, and the Under Secretary of Defense of Personnel and Readiness, my boss, uh, Dr. Joanne Rooney, she was talking about how we could put a policy framework around some of the deviant behaviors that happen in the military force, be it discrimination, be it harassment, be it assault, be it hazing, be it bullying, be it whatever. And right now, the Pentagon is really, I won't say struggling, but Chow is trying to figure out how better to curtail, indeed stop some of that, de that deviant behavior. We count on you to, to help with that. Uh, on the ground, you the eyes and ears. So you need to be equipped. Your job has evolved so much over the last decade that to become the combat multiplier that you all will be, you really will be involved in a lot of stuff. Or you have the opportunity to be. At this schoolhouse, you will learn how to do those things. You need to, uh, of course, know how to have direct access and communication with your leadership, both the NCO and officer. Because those folks, of course, are making decisions on things, so they are counting on you to have the skills to not just know about what's going on, not just how to access and identify what's going on, but also how to help them deal with what's going on. So you will get some skills here that, uh, that uh, will help you in that regard. Because you are counting on to be a combat multiplier. You know, 1948, President Truman signed the Executive Order 9981, effectively integrating the armed forces. It took some years, of course, for the armed forces to be truly integrated. But my point is, we started on this journey a long time ago of treating people like people. But you know, if we in fact treated people like people every day, we wouldn't need a Naomi. You wouldn't need I to mean, be. We are in a an ever evolving kind of a human relations campaign, if you will, that somebody's got to be on the ground and helping us manage. And it seems like. There are things we do to each other every day that crop up. You know, three years ago, you wouldn't even, even had an office in the Pentagon dealing with hazing. Now we do. Hazing, I mean, how, how we get there? Because people, we, we recruit from the community. We come with biases. Some of those biases get trained out of us. Some of them don't. So where they don't get trained out of them, out of us, where because of deviant behavior, 
then someone has got to recognize it and assist the leadership in dealing with it. That's why you're here. You've got to take what you do very seriously because we are counting on you on this workforce to assist in, in moving the human relations campaign, I call it. Yeah.